Welcome back. We are coming to the end of August and I wanted to mix a few things up this time. Uh, going after some walleye today. I know flopping crappie, I'm mostly chasing crappie on this channel, but the shallow water river bite right now is, it's fantastic. They're not really huge fish, but for the amount of fish we're gonna catch and the amount of eater size fish we're gonna catch, it's definitely worth it. So today I wanted to show you how I'm using my Garmin side view to be able to find these super shallow water river walleye. And then I wanna show you the three rigs that I'm gonna tie on for this late summer pattern. Three plastics, jig setups, super simple, but I fish them very differently. If you uh, wanna pick up some of these mag minnows, mega grubs or the small fry, go to OTHfishing.com, use promo code Davis for 20% off the entire website. Get yourself 20% off, don't pay full retail. While most of the larger walleye are in the deeper part of the river this time of year, there is still a ton of walleye in the shallows let's say less than eight feet of water. A lot of the eater size fish, so we're, we're probably going for like 15 to 17 inches. You're gonna catch a lot of shorts, 13, 14 inches as well. So you're gonna have to sort through them, but it can be a really fun bite. And the cool thing is when you find them on side imaging, they usually stack up really well behind one particular piece of cover. What I'm looking for with the Garmin side view is I'm looking for these large stumps or these lay downs that get pushed during the springtime, the flooding season. They get pushed to kind of these top parts or the upstream parts of these sandbars. And uh, they create these current breaks that allow these walleye to sit behind it in the slower current and they're just waiting for the food to come to them. Now let's talk about my settings real quick with side view. Typically I run 70 feet left and right. Um, I pretty much run like automatic settings. So I don't really adjust the gain or uh, any of that too much. The gain, the brightness, the frequency. I'm running the one point, uh, it's a, the megahertz, the Ultra HD, it's a 1.07 megahertz frequency. And my contrast is down a little bit, but brightness and everything gain pretty much default status. So once I find a stump with my side imaging, I'm gonna put a waypoint on it. Um, and then I'm gonna position the boat so that I'm up current from that stump. And I want that stump to kind of be about uh, 45 or a little bit less of a degree behind the boat. And the reason for that is the actual jigging tactics that I'm gonna be using. And now, if I'm looking at a stump and I'm not sure if there's actually walleye on that stump, I can use this cool zoom feature that all these touchscreen uh, Garmin units have. And you can zoom in and you can really check if there's fish stacked behind near the shadows of this stump. And they're gonna be on the downstream side, most of these fish are anyway, because that's where that current break is. These walleye are gonna look like large grains of rice. And uh, they're gonna be super bright compared to that sandy bottom. That's pretty much all I'm gonna see on the river is just sandy bottom, the occasional stump or brush, piece of brush, piece of the timber. And then you're gonna see these really bright, looks like grains of rice. And those are those walleye that we're looking at. And again, once I find those walleye, I'm gonna mark the waypoint and position the boat upstream from those walleye so that I can cast my jigs kind of sweeping downstream with the current. So speaking of jig setups, let's talk about the three jig setups that I have tied on. The first one is uh, more of a snap jigging approach. This is a 3A sounds jig head with the mag minnow. This is a crappie monster mag minnow. So ACC came out with these brand new uh, seven foot one piece. Uh, these are the casting rods. These are great multi-species rods. I've been using the seven foot six, which is actually a two piece another great multi-species casting rod. They went back to the large eyelets on these. I can show you here. So if you want to slip bobber fish with this seven footer, feel free. It's gonna be a really good slip bobber rod. That slip stop is not gonna get stuck in those eyelets on some of those micro guides. They went back to the big ones. So you can use it as a slip bobber rod. Right now I just got it with a uh, Carbon X. This is a PC Phone Carbon X 2000 size reel. 10 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon. And just tying a little jig, this is basically the setup. Using a combination of these Crappie Monster Mag Minnows with about a, this is actually a, a 3 8 ounce jig head. Going to quarter ounce, going to th uh, 3 16 Just trying to find that right flow with the current. You know, trying to get that jig to just barely touch the bottom and I can just pop it right up and it'll kind of float in the current. That seems to be when I'm getting these strikes. I was out here last night, caught quite a few fish doing this. Um, actually on this pattern here, this horn chartreuse pattern and uh, 3 8 ounce jig head, kind of just snap jigging it. That's why the, I like these seven foot and seven and a half foot rods. 
They're great for that little snap jig approach. You let that jig hit the bottom of the sand, pop it up, and that's usually when you get a bite. This is, again, gonna be that snap jigging approach. I'm gonna cast it 45 degrees downstream and kind of sweep it with the current, but it's gonna be a quick snap and it's gonna dart right down to the bottom again, I'm trying to trigger that reaction bite. Um, and usually in, with these walleye being in a really good feeding pattern, typically early mornings or late in the evenings, this is a really good technique to use during those times. The second uh, jig setup I'm using is a 316 ounce jig head with a mega grub. It's a curly tail setup. This isn't so much as a snap jig, is I wanna just pop it off the bottom and just kinda hold the rod tip and let that curly tail do its thing and hopefully trigger straight as it kinda floats in the current. Um, this can either be casted 45 degrees downstream or I can cast directly into the stump with this and all I'm doing is basically lifting the jig head holding the rod tip and letting that curly tail slowly fall back down to the river bottom again and hopefully get a strike on the fall back down. Walleye number one on the day or this morning at least. Oh, He's gonna be a short though I bet. Yeah. He's only 14. Gonna have to let him go. See you, buddy. Ooh, that's a... Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them chasing after it. Go flip. There's our keeper. Found the right color. Switch it up to the crappie monster, curly tail. That's got to be our keeper. There's another bigger one with it. Oh. He's just shy, just shy of a keeper. Now the third and final setup I got tied on here is a 1 8 ounce jig head with a crappie monster small fry. Now this is a small minnow pattern. This is great for those finicky times of the day. Maybe you're fishing midday and I really want to cast this directly at the stump or that piece of brush that I'm fishing. I'm gonna let it kind of sit on the bottom. I'm gonna kind of give it a couple quick jigs of the rod and just let it kind of float there in the current for a while. This is also a great setup where I can actually cast it upstream. Typically I use this with live scope. I'm really trying to pinpoint a specific walleye that I'm targeting and I can even cast this upstream if the current's slow enough. Um, that Garmin live scope and kind of this little eighth ounce jigging technique is a great way to put a few fish in the boat during the midday when these walleye can be super finicky. Well, there we go. That is gonna wrap it up on the evening. A lot of shorts today, only got one keeper in the boat, but a lot of fun catching these small walleye on these skinny parts of the river. I'm gonna let this guy go real quick. So those are the three tactics that I'm using for these skinny water walleye right now. Use your Garmin side view. Great way to pinpoint these little spots on these sandy bottoms where find those stumps. Those fish are just schooled up right behind in the downstream side of those stumps. If you uh, wanna pick up some of these mag minnows, mega grubs or the small fry, go to OTHfishing.com. Use promo code Davis for 20% off the entire website. Get yourself 20% off, don't pay full retail. If you got any comments or questions about any of the settings or the tactics that I use, post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water as we get into September and uh, hopefully you're catching a ton of fish.